Day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick fun comparison between Kubuntu latest release 20.10 on the left and MX Linux 21 on the right. Now these are actually both the KDE desktop environment also known as the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So without further ado let's get into it here. So starting off uh, now these are actually both based on uh, Ubuntu or Debian in a way. So Kubuntu itself is uh, this is a, a, a point release hence the 21.1 so it is based off Ubuntu but Ubuntu is actually based off Debian in turn there. Now I've got MX Linux who is uh, on the back end sort of uh, skipping someone in the middle that is to say Ubuntu and is just purely based off Debian here. Now uh, if we were to have a look uh, at the actual type of desktop environment so although they are both the the KDE Plasma desktop environment they do have their own well similarities and differences as you can see there we've got more of a stock looking KDE environment as far as I'm concerned when it comes to the Kubuntu type or side of things there which uh, is you know technically what this K stands for KDE whereas no reference on this side of thing for the MX Linux now they do basically the same thing there. Let's have a, a bit of a load up in terms of the file manager. Now quite synonymous with the KDE the Plasma desktop environment, we have the Dolphin file manager. You'll notice it looks a little bit different there. So it is a little bit uh, tweaked, optimized, just changed based on the type of uh, desktop environment there. Uh, I should probably get into a little bit more on the MX Linux side of things. Now it is actually considered the most popular Linux distro in the world. That's only kind of half true. Uh, there is a lot of uh, websites that will tell you this is the case. One thing I can say for certain is that MX Linux is indeed a popular little fellerino for sure. Now let's uh, have a little bit of a look on the under the hood for instance. So if we were to have a little bit of a splash and tickle and see what this kernel is all about. There we go. So this is where it might get interesting. So we have the 5.13 kernel for Kubuntu, whereas I've got the 5.10 for MX uh, Linux 21 there. Now the reason for this is because it is actually running on a more stable version, the Debian, as I mentioned before, whereas Kubuntu is more latest and greatest running on the uh, Ubuntu desktop uh, backend which is a little bit more bleeding edge in comparison. Now just lastly for having a bit of a look at this is the, the, the CPU and RAM usage. So as we can see both nicely idling out there on the CPU side but when it comes to the memory we have a little bit of a difference which uh, gets interesting. So 770 megabytes of RAM on boot up, nothing really loaded up in the background there. For MX Linux, we have about 680 megabytes of RAM. So we are dealing with about 100 megabytes of RAM less on boot up, which is pretty good, pretty noticeable. You know, that is statistically significant. It's about 15 cent or upwards of there. So that is uh, nice to see. So this is something just to keep in mind, but depending on the type of, uh, of hardware that you're using it, be it old or new, that kind of thing there. But that's pretty much it, guys. Just a short and sweet video comparing these two desktop environments. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and I hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.